Scientists are warning that the splitting off of a vast island of ice from the main Arctic ice pack is the most alarming evidence of climate change seen so far. The new floating ice block, some 10 miles long, is in Canada's high Arctic, just 500 miles from the North Pole. A scientific expedition based at the remote settlement of Resolute is on its way to the island right now. They're hoping to pinpoint why it broke free from the Ailes ice shelf and what that tells us about the pace of climate change. David Shookman is travelling with them and he's just sent this exclusive report. A wind of change is sweeping across the Arctic. The vast tracts of ice look immobile. But this landscape is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet and there is dramatic upheaval. This sequence of images shows how a stretch of coastline 10 miles long was transformed in a matter of hours. Although this massive event happened in 2005, word of it only emerged from scientific circles a few months ago. No one was there to witness the island breaking away, but it would have looked something like this, a chasm ripping open with the force of a small earthquake. At the Canadian Ice Service, they keep watch over the changes. Satellite pictures reveal a world in flux. How the geography of the Arctic, mapped by British and other explorers, is now being altered. I noticed a dramatic difference between the ice conditions uh, in mid-August from the previous week. There was a very large piece of ice um, that had broken away and was starting to move off into the Arctic pack. Now researchers are hoping to land on the island, the first expedition of its kind. And if they manage it, we'll be with them. So it broke off from the, from the Isles Fjord, which is just here, then yeah. moved right out, it's about 70 kilometers west of the Isles Fjord. So. The scientists want to investigate exactly how the island was created the biggest single change in the Arctic for decades. This ice island is about the size of Manhattan. Uh, in aerial extent, it's as thick as a 10-story building is tall. It's impossible to say that this one event is, is probably due to, to climate change. There is probable uh, cause that it is. Now, this drill is part of the equipment the scientists are hoping to use on the ice island itself to try to get a better understanding of what happened. Let me give you that. Thank you. Our chances of actually landing are said to be fairly good because this plane is equipped with skis, but the big unknown is the state of the weather. Our attempt to reach the new island will take us to within 500 miles of the North Pole. There's no guarantee we'll make it, but we're getting close. David Truckman, BBC News, in the Canadian Arctic. And David hasn't yet been able to make it, but he can join us now live from the high Arctic. David, how worried are scientists about this massive block of ice just breaking off? Well, they say that there have been natural changes in the climate here over the centuries, but what scientists are finding now in the last couple of decades is an acceleration of the warming, and that's been shown up in all kinds of astounding results. The retreat of the ice at sea, retreat of the glaciers here on the land in the mountains, behind me and probably in the creation of these islands of ice, the breaking off of great shelves of coastal ice, like the one that we're hoping to land on possibly later today. We've been keeping a very close eye on the satellite pictures of the weather. We think there will be a break in the clouds later this evening, giving us a chance of actually landing in our ski plane on the island and giving the sun exactly what is going on with the creation of this huge new island in the Arctic. David, thanks very much. And we're hoping to hear more from David from the High Arctic on Monday's 10 o'clock news.